English phrases unveiled. Plump, in focus. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a word that might sound a bit juicy. Plump. If you've ever been curious about this word and its varied uses, you're in the right place. The word plump primarily has two meanings. One, adjective, describing someone or something as being slightly fat, but in a pleasant way. Two, example, the baby had plump cheeks that everyone wanted to pinch. Three, verb, to drop or let fall in a thick mass, to throw or place heavily or suddenly down or on something. Four, example, she plumped her bag on the table with a sigh. Plump is quite versatile. Here's how you can use it. 1. Descriptive usage. 2. The cushions on the sofa are so plump and comfortable. 3. Look at those plump grapes. They must be juicy. 4. Expressing indecision. 5. If someone asks you to make a choice and you decide randomly, you might say, I'll just plump for the chocolate ice cream. 6. Physical action. 7. He plumped down on the bed exhausted after the long journey. 1. Plump up. This means to make something fuller or rounder, especially by filling or puffing it up. 2. Example. She plumped up the pillows before guests arrived. 3. Plump for. To decide on something after considering it. 4. Example. After checking out all the options, he plumped for the red car. 5. Plump out. To become thicker or rounder. 6. Example. The bird's feathers plump out in the cold. And there you have it. The word, plump, in all its glory. From describing delightful chubbiness to making spontaneous decisions, this word sure has a lot to offer. We hope you found this deep dive into plump, insightful. Keep exploring the language. And until next time, happy learning.